so what happened was on thursday during the torrential rains the land under the garbage uh, in the dumping yard in the in the dumping ground had uh, slided and uh, that has caused for some of the garbage to come very close to our uh, stream uh, in this regard the information as it was received in the very morning we have put in place uh, multiple uh, uh, manpower in that area through uh, tmb and uh, uh, the uh, uh, gcbs to uh, excavate all the garbage out uh, from uh, this banks of the stream and to pull it back additionally uh, we have also put up a, a retention wall made out of uh, the chicken mesh so that any future events of such garbage uh, coming down is not hampering our river streams and not uh, issuing any cause of concern at this point of time the operation has been going day and night for the last 3 days and we are happy to say that uh, uh, till yesterday night we have already set up the entire retain, uh, retaining structure as well and we have been able to clear most of uh, the garbage out of the uh, out from the bank of the stream itself now the next step forward that we are planning to do is to prepare that retention wall in a more concrete format across the entire dumping yard and the future course of action for uh, elimination of our legacy waste so uh, what we have been doing in the last couple of uh, months and uh, specifically uh, i'd like to thank our honorable cm sir and our commissioner secretary for urban affairs uh, what they have done is they are looking forward to engaging a specialized agency which is which has specialization in the recommendation of uh, the legacy waste uh, the leg recommendation of the ground and the treatment of the legacy waste so uh per uh, day the facility will be able to create refuse uh, fuel out of uh, the legacy waste and utilize that for different industries such as cement or other burning burnus industries and this will help us to reclaim that ground in future we are uh, also moving towards new landfill site which will be a scientific landfill site where the segregation of waste as well as the treatment of waste will happen through the uh, manage of composting and uh, other techniques and we are looking forward to uh, move out of uh, this dumping yard in compliance with the different environmental laws and look at more sustainable way of management of waste today what we see is that uh, uh, unsegregated waste is the major menace for our waste management system in our in our district and the state and in time to come we are looking forward to make more uh, to spread more awareness along with our uh, scientific uh, waste management we are uh planning to do more awareness about the segregation of waste into different sets that's the new future forward